Hello, Pombo. Yeah, how many plant peppers today? Huh? Yeah. All right, let's talk to our friends here. Hello! <laughs> you distracted me. Yes, you did. I know. Hello, family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner, and today I am at the Hancock Homestead with Paolo, my friend here, and today we are going to be planting boxes um, five and six. One and two are better boy tomatoes. Three and four are Roma tomatoes. Box five is gonna be Bonnie Green Bell Peppers. Okay, sweet peppers. And besides the green, we also have three red and three yellows. Okay, and last year and the year before, we only did six peppers per box. But John and I both feel like we could probably get more peppers in these boxes. So this year I'm gonna try to um, add a few more okay and see how many we can actually fit in here because the peppers um, unlike the tomatoes don't spread out quite as much and uh, don't take up quite as much room so we're going to try to fit in more of the green peppers but my tomatoes are looking awesome and the reason is taking me so long uh, to make this video is because We've had rain showers for the past two days, and I have not been able to get out. So, um, so yeah, so I'm, you're not getting consecutive daily videos uh, this summer, but that's basically because of the rain. We've had a very uh, late, very cool, almost cold some days, uh, rainy, wet spring and uh, so it's just been hard to get out into the garden as often as I wanted so anyhow it looks like I have spice here and she's gonna help too yes she is I know except Pablo gets jealous so let's get these peppers planted and the peppers like I said are uh, very much simpler to do than tomatoes uh, the tomatoes, you dig deep holes, you tear off leaves, you add a concoction of different um, ingredients to the hole. And for my peppers, I don't really, I don't do any of that. I uh, dig my hole to the depth of my plant and make the dirt even with my plant top. And I don't add any special ingredients to the hole other than uh, the cow manure compost combo hey how you doing huh so yeah so this will be much easier to do today and should go a little bit faster then if I get finished with box five I hope to do box six today too I don't know for sure we'll just have to see how my time plays out and my energy but in box six I'm going to be putting in a bush cucumber this year uh, that's for slicing so it's a new cucumber I wanted to try we usually do straight eights I did not get my straight eights into the ground soon enough this year and I found these bush cucumbers at Walmart and I thought I'm gonna try those for a slicing cucumber so I hope to be doing them in box six and I also have some um, tomato berries which I will be adding to the end of that box. So, if I have room. Or I might be moving them to their own box. But anyhow, so let's go and get these peppers planted for now. It is already extremely muggy out here. Isn't it, guys? Yes, it is. All right, let's show them all the rain. I'm gonna show them all the rainwater. So these are boxes seven and eight, uh, which I will eventually get to someday. And as you can see, there is rain standing on the tarps. 
and then over here where I have the corn planted, you cannot see it yet because it just got planted the other day. I came out and dodged between rain showers to plant it. And uh, you can see that in the low spots we have water. So I don't know if the corn is even going to grow in this wet of conditions. But our farmer, our farmer who rents our land is not even able to get his machinery into the fields yet because of how wet everything is. So he'll eventually get there, but it's just a late year for the farmers and the gardeners and everybody this year. All right, let's get busy. Box five. I think what I'm going to do is put all the green ones on that end and then do yellow and reds up here because I do have more green. Alright, so let me bring you in for a close up just to show you one of them how quickly they go. Alright, so I'll show you a close-up planting of this one, and uh, you just dig that hole to about the depth you think your plant's going to be. Put that in there like that. See, it's only to the depth of the top of the plant. I'm not tearing off any leaves. I'm just adding some cow manure around the base here. I'll still do a pretty good pat in. And that's it. Don't forget to put your label so you know what kind it's supposed to be. All right, I'm going to scoot you back so that um, I can show you the whole box being done.
so I have run out of cardboard. So these are just going to get straw because I do not want to have to wait until I get more cardboard. The straw will really help, especially with it being this deep. Let's take a closer look at these peppers. We'll start out here on the north end. All six of these peppers down here are the green peppers. And then the peppers on this side are yellow. And then there's the third yellow right there. And then the peppers on this side are red. And there's the third red in the middle. So there's this year's pepper box. And yes, I have the shakes already. <sighs> Okay, so there's box five. Let's go on over and plant those bush cucumbers into box six. Here we go. All right, so here are the burpless bush hybrid cucumber and uh, I thought I would try these as a slicing cucumber this year and I only got four because my goal is to put four down here at this end and then to put the um, tomato berries down here at the other end so
Okay, friends, well, Paula and I were able to get boxes five and six done. Five has all of my sweet peppers. Six has four cucumber plants so far, waiting for tomato plants to come in for this end. Uh, the tomato plants I'm waiting on are called tomato berries. Um, the corn has been planted into the rows. Excuse me, I'm sweating. And the trellises are waiting for the other cucumbers, which are a pickling cucumber, and uh, they vine and they will grow up the trellises. But that will be for another day. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more about what's going on in my corner of the world, please hit that subscribe button to Kim's Country Corner. And if you have any family or friends that you think might enjoy my videos, please remember to share and recommend. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me today. I always appreciate my subscribers and comments. I'm, sure, I'm sorry I have not been getting back to the comments as I should. So I thought I would take just a minute though to answer one of the comments. Um, Shannon G asked me, she said, when you were digging your rows, I noticed that you were uh, using your left leg to do it. She goes, does that mean you're left-handed? And the answer to that, Shannon, is no, I'm actually right-handed. But the reason that I use my left leg is because I had injury to my right knee back when I was in college. And my right knee uh, does not bend. I do not have the mobility nor the strength in my right leg uh, like I used to. So I use my right leg to stabilize myself, to hold myself steady, and then I use my left leg to do all the work. So I'm actually right-handed, but I shovel with my left leg. <laughs> so thanks for noticing, Shannon, and I appreciate any comments uh, from you, and I look forward to more, and I appreciate any comments from my subscribers and any questions that you might have. I will answer to the best of my ability. So once again, thanks for joining me, and talk to you later. Bye for now. Yes, we do still have chickens. The grass is working nicely, keeping them in. They love to do their dirt bathing. Can you see how deep those holes are?